Anthony Davis has had over 50 injuries and illnesses since entering the NBA, but his current injury may actually be much worse than you think. Injury severity. The injury sidelining AD was first thought to be an ankle sprain, but it's worse. Reported as extremely rare and much worse than an ankle sprain, he was originally projected to be out for just two weeks. The midfoot sprain diagnosis increased that to four weeks minimum, and AD has severely damaged this part of his body before. The 2016 preseason, a grade two right ankle sprain with a six foot 10, 253 pound frame, that weight coming down to re-aggravate an already fragile part of the body spells catastrophic news. Injury history. Davis missed time this year due to left knee soreness, a grade 2 MCL sprain, a right wrist injury, and that right midfoot sprain. He's sprained that MCL twice now, and he was wheelchaired off the court in 2017 with the same groin injury that ended his 2021 postseason. Combined with his 50 injuries, 25 in the first five seasons alone, Davis has hurt every major part of his body. Because of this, he has to wear preventative gear during games. Substantial playing time. Davis shockingly has zero minute restrictions, averaging 35 plus minutes per game this season, good for top 15 in the entire league, clashing heavy with last year. AD played his lowest minutes, 32.3 minutes per game since his rookie campaign. But there's more. Last season, returning from a two-month absence, he played only 17 minutes. Now AD's averaging twice the playing time, 30 minutes per game, in games immediately following time off. It might benefit the Lakers to let him fully recover before giving him big minutes, because he's terrible even when he's available. In 37 games this year, Davis is shooting the worst free throw percentage of his career, 70.9%, the lowest three-point mark in seven years, 18.2%, and has one of the worst mid-range efficiencies in the entire NBA. Add a losing record when Davis has played, 17-20, and, and his worst plus-minus in six seasons, minus 1.8, cancel out his 23 points and nine rebounds a game. AD has a chance to return before the end of the regular season, but we remember what happened when he tried to return from injury during last year's playoffs. Hopefully, we'll see Davis consistently hoop at his all-NBA level, because last time we did, he played 62 games, 2019-20, led LA in scoring, 26.1 points per game, and the Lakers raised the Larry O'Brien trophy. But that was also not so ironically the same year COVID caused a multi-month-long break in action, allowing for rest. All these significant factors combined with the Lakers' tragic season make you wonder, where is Anthony Davis's career headed? Let us know in the comments.